For Zimbabweans who experienced them, the late 90s and early 2000s looked and sounded like this. Hey, I've gotta go, you know I love to stay. The ads were you to go out there and show them all the goodness you're made of. Telecommunications was on the rise. We are Zimbabwean fully independent. We get our instruction directly from our people and from nobody else. This was the politics of the day. There was the land issue to fix. The money. The following images are self-explanatory. But you note, it was positive Zimbabwe qualified for the AFCON for the first time in its history. Zimbabwe also hosted the Cricket World Cup, co-hosted with South Africa and Kenya. It was also during this time that Zimbabwean music experienced the rebirth, a renaissance for Zimbabwean urban music. Urban grooves exploded. There is no agreed upon definition for urban grooves. In her doctoral research, Doreen Tavinga gives a definition of urban grooves as being Whilst Tanai Chari in his article in Musica Journal of Music Research in Africa uses a simple definition to describe urban grooves as being